Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good Welcome. afternoon, Father. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we are on our fourth day of our novena in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us all make ourselves worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together, I confess, I confess to, Almighty to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I that have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, have a vision, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and, Apo and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witness of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey Him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he, re he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, 
but out of them all the Lord delivers to him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid na narito ngayon sa simbahan uh, ng Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at ang ating mga kapatid na nakikiisa sa atin sa kanila mga tahanan o kung saan man sila ngayon o sa pamamagitan ng ating uh, social media platforms. Uh, ako'y malugod na tumatanggap at bumabati sa inyo na sana lahat tayo ay ligtas at uh, manatiling uh, protektado no, sa mga sandaling ito. Itong mga nakaraang linggo no, uh, o maging mga nakalipas nung nakalipas na buwan noong Marso, no, parang naka, napakalungkot no, at na, nakakabagabag, nakakaalarma no, ang uh, sitwasyon, ang pangyayari sa atin. No, we have heard a lot of things, no, very bad things about people, not only here in the Philippines but all over the world. No, uh, parang bumalik na naman no yung ating kinakatakutan bumalik na naman no yung ating karanasan no nung isang taon no mukhang maganda na sana ang pagpasok ng bagong taon no parang naramdaman na natin na lumuluwag na ng konti kumukonti na yung mga uh, tinatamaan ng uh, virus ng COVID-19 subalit so, itong uh, pagsapit nung uh, ikatlong buwan no itong Marso mukhang uh, hindi maganda at hindi talaga maganda no ang uh, mga pangyayari at uh, alam na alam natin lahat ito sapagkat dati kung ang akala natin ay balita lang ang nababasa natin o, o naririnig natin no tungkol sa ibang tao no sa mga panahong ito itong mga nakaraang linggo ay iba sapagkat ang mga nababasa natin o nababalitaan natin ay mga taong kilala natin mga taong malapit malalapit sa atin mga taong mahal natin sa buhay sila na yung tinatamaan sila na yung nagkakasakit sila na yung mga pumapanaw at uh, alam na alam din natin no that this pandemic this virus no is just so close minsan nasa tapat lang ng bahay natin or maybe just on the other room we know it's very real it's very real and it's very close at hand and we have to be more uh, Uh, safe. We have to be more protective of ourselves. No? Kailangan mas iba yung pag-iingat pa ang dapat gawin natin. Sapagat hanggang sa mga sandaling ito ay uh, patuloy pa rin no? na umaakyat at dumadami no? ang uh, mga nagkakasakit. At hindi lamang sila tinatamaan. Marami na rin no? ang talagang nagiging kritikal at uh, ang uh, umapanaw at uh, napakasakit isipin no? that some of these people are even so close and uh, so near to us. Kaya nga minsan natatakot ako sa umaga pag nagbukas ako no, nito mga nakaraang linggo pag nabubukas ako ng aking uh, messenger no? No, para siyang obituary no? 
andun yung father, pakidasal naman yung aking kapatid na sa ospital ngayon. Pakidasal po yung aking nanay, critical ngayon na sa ICU. Uh, ang lola ko, uh, she is being intubated right now and fighting for her life. O di kaya, ang aking kaibigan, ang aming kamag-anak, miyembro ng aming pamilya, pumanaw na because of the COVID-19. No? Kaya kahit na pagbukas uh, natin no, ng mga personal uh, pages natin, no? andun yun, parang mga listahan na lang ng mga nagkakasakit at ng na mga namamatay, nakakatakot at nakakalungkot. No? Sabagkat tutuong-tutuo na sa paligid natin at nariyan lang. And yet, uh, we, we imagine no, kung gaano, ano kaya ang sitwasyon ng mga tao ito. No, they die alone. They die away no, from their loved ones. Sobrang uh, mas nakakalungkot, mas dagdag no, sa masakit na pagramdam na yung mga mahal natin sa buhay, no, kakilala natin, no, sila'y pumapanaw na nag-iisa. Na hindi man lang nakapag-wika no, ng kanilang mga huling salita. No, sa mga taong mahal nila. And before we know it, they just come back to us, no longer as they were, but in the form of ashes. No, ando na sa isang banga, no, abo na lang. And what happened? So what were the last moments? Iniisip natin, ano kaya yung mga huling sandali? Ano kaya ang nangyari sa kanya? Ano kaya ang gusto niyang sabihin? Ano kaya ang gusto niyang iparating sa mga mahal niya sa buhay? And that we can never tell and we can never know because they will never come back again. Sa Ibanghelyong binasa natin ngayon no, ay uh, parang kahalintulad no, ng uh, sitwasyon na nangyayari, na nangyayari sa ating paligid sa mga sandali ito. Ang ating mahal na ina ay nandun nakatingala sa kanyang anak no, na sa ilang sandali na lang ay mamamatay na. Subalit malinaw sa Panginoon, no? kung ano ang kanyang mga sasabihin at kung ano ang kanyang iahabilin sa kanyang ina na kanyang iiwanan. Oo, napakasakit para sa isang magulang, sa isang ina lalong-lalo na, na tingnan at danasin no, ang pagpanaw ng kanyang sariling anak. Sabagat ito'y taliwas no, sa normal na pangyayari. Hindi ba dapat na ang anak ang naghatid sa kanyang mga magulang sa huling hantungan? Subalit sa sitwasyon ng ating mahal na ina ay baliktad. Ang ina o ang isang magulang ay siyang naghahatid no, sa huling hantungan ng kanyang anak at doble ang sakit nito. Subalit sa kabila ng pasakit, sa kabila ng kahir- paghihirap no, na naranasan ng ating mahal na ina, no, ay nandun pa rin at ramdam na ramdam niya ang pagmangahal ng kanyang anak. Ina, no, nariyan ang iyong anak. Inabilin niya ang kanyang um, sariling ina no, sa kanyang pinakamamahal na alagad. No? At sinabi niya sa kanyang uh, mahal na alagad, no, uh, anak, nariyan ang iyong ina. So ang ibig sabihin lamang nito, ako'y mawawala na. Ako'y papanaw at alagaan mo ang aking mahal sa buhay. At ikaw din, dahil mahal kita, no, ay aalagaan ka rin ng aking nanay. No? Uh, hindi hinayaan ng ating Panginoon no, na siya ay mawala na lang na walang huling habilin no, sa kanyang mga mahal sa buhay. No, uh, ito nga lang ang pagkakaiba ng no, mga nangyayari no, sa mga kapatid natin at mga kakilala natin no, na pumanaw na nag-iisa. Kaya ito ay paalala sa atin, sa ating lahat na narito, sa ating lahat na nakikinig, sa ating lahat na malakas pa at matibay. Hindi naman natin kailangang hintayin ang huling hantungan o huling sandali para sabihin natin kung gaano natin kamahal ang mga taong mahal natin. Nariyan lang sila. We don't have to wait for the final minute or for the final day no? kung saan sasabihin natin no? kung ano yung gusto natin sabihin sa mga taong mahal natin. Ang Panginoon ay nagbibigay sa atin ng maraming pagkakataon. Buong buhay natin, a lifetime of chances for all of us to express our love, our care, our gratitude, and even our apologies to the people we love. No, kung may tao man tayong nasaktan, hindi na natin kailangang hintayin ang huling hantungan o huling sandali para humingi ng tawad. Kung may tao mahal natin o mahal tayo, huwag na natin hintayin ang huling sandali para sabihin natin at paramdam sa kanila na mahal natin sila. 
lalong-lalo na tayong mga anak no, sa ating mga magulang at ang mga magulang din para sa kanilang mga anak. Tayo ay narito pa, malakas pa, kaya pa nating magsalita, kaya pa nating yumakap, kaya pa nating iparamdam no, kung gaano nating kamahal ang mga taong na riyan lang na nagmamahal sa atin. At ito rin ang panawagan sa atin ng ating mahal na ina. Pinibigyan natin siya ng parangal no, sa nobilang ito. At ito ang kanyang tangi paalala sa atin. Ramdam na ramdam ko ang pagmamahal ng aking anak. Kaya gusto ko sana paramdaman nyo rin no, kung gaano kayo kamahal ng mga taong nagmamahal sa inyo. O dapat iparamdam natin sa mga taong mahal natin kung gaano natin sila kamahal. Habang may panahon pa, habang hindi pa huli ang lahat. We all stand. Please stand. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to the Lord Jesus, her Son, for all who have heavy crosses to bear. And so with every prayer, we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that all ministers of the people of God, priests, religious, and consecrated men and women may generously serve the Lord and people and bear witness by their very lives to the good news they proclaim. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by their generosity and spirit of service, our Christian families may provide the favorable climate in which the seeds of occasions may bud and grow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our young people may encounter Christ as the meaning and inspiration of their lives, that they may be willing to become to others his heart that loves, his hands that heal, his feet that accompany people on the road to God, and to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our seminaries and houses of formation may give us servants of the gospel with eyes and hearts open to the needs of people and to the demands of our times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our lay people to may contribute each according to one's gifts and talents toward the growth and formation of strong local Christian communities in which Christ is alive. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick members of our families, those who are inflicted with the virus COVID-19, those who are fighting for their lives, and uh, those who have died because of this uh, disease. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. And for all those uh, who are taking care of our sick uh, brothers and sisters, those who have asked for our prayers, those who have no one to pray for them, those we promise to pray for, and for the special intentions of uh, Virginia Lim, Diandra Joyce, and Betty Ching, and for all our sponsors of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. And for all our personal intentions and for the intentions of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. Lord Jesus Christ, you did not ask for the cross and prayed that it be taken away from you. Yet when demanded by your work, you accepted it bravely. We join our sufferings to yours and ask you to help us bear them and to make them also for us a way to glory and happiness. For you are our Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen please stand now full of love and confidence let us pray to God our Father in the words our Savior taught us our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now Amen. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord, be with you always and with your spirit let us give each other the sign of peace peace with you lamb of god you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us, us. Lamb, lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now let us offer Oracio Imperata for vocations for the Diocese of Lingayim de Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in church in Lingayim de Gupan. Let us all say together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations of the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey to priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers, through your prayers many, many vocations many to, the priesthood. to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many, many vocations, vocations to the, to the priesthood. priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer, so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocations in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to your priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple at the, front of, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of all Christians. We place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your patronage and motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with, help, with your help your priest sons as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag on the fourth day of our novena in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And... Uh, May you have a meaningful pilgrimage, and please have a safe trip back home. And also, we would like to thank our uh, brothers and sisters joining us via live stream. So we continue to pray for each other, and we continue to stay safe. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. In memory of the God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we bless your religious articles. Kung mayroon pa kayong religious articles, pakilabas lang po ninyo. At ako po ay bababa dyan para basbasa ng inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayong umalis sa inyong kinaroonan. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles, and those who will use them, be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
to have.